Welcome back to Match Day Live, and there we have it. What an enthralling second leg tie. It had absolutely everything. Goals, extra time, penalties. But sadly tonight, it was not meant to be for Manchester City. This penalty here from Rudiger, all but secured qualification for Real Madrid into the next round. It finished 4-4 in aggregate, but Real Madrid go 4-3 victors on penalties. Nadem always tough to take. But as we know, penalties, when it just comes down to it, is always that little bit of luck and nothing on the performance that City gave for 120 minutes. Absolutely not, no. I think for those two hours, for me, City were the better side. I think most people would say that. But Real Madrid themselves just found a way to just hang in there in the game. And then that last 5-10, you can see how tired everybody was. You weren't going to see enough quality to be able to break either side down, it felt like. So for it to go to penalties, you're just nervous. You know, you've had some good times, as was the case with the Super Cup earlier in the season. But... You know, this is the downside of the penalty shootout sometimes. I mean, Steph, I've never been in a penalty shootout, but I can imagine that the emotions of the game and then to go through that, it's, it's going to be tough for the boys there. But it, as I say, it should take nothing away from what they've done so far this season and also what's still on the table. Yeah, of course. It doesn't mean they're a different team because they've lost a penalty shootout. They've been unbelievable for a few years now and obviously they'll be devastated. I mean, we're all devastated in the, the studio. Like, You don't want it to go to pens and you don't want to go out the Champions League in that scenario. And Especially with the second half performance and the extra time performance, we were well on top and we just couldn't find that goal. But I think now, I think they probably have to get over this as quick as they possibly can because we've still got a league to go for an FA Cup on, on Saturday. We do indeed. Listen, let's um, take a pause here in the show. We can go to pitch side right away. FG is there uh, giving us a live reaction. Let's hear how it's sounding and what he has to say. Yes, full time here at the Etihad Stadium. Round of applause from everybody. A shade of blue moon, a defeat on penalties, a tough way to end an incredible record we've got in Europe at the Etihad. Yeah, yeah, it is. And listen, there's, there's no way to lose, you know, but penalty shootout. I thought the team were absolutely relentless the whole evening. I thought they were brilliant. You know, just them final moments, but sometimes it doesn't go your way. And you must give credit to the opposition and the way they defended. You know, they got the tactics right, they suffocated space, and um, at the end of the day, they were victorious. They were victorious indeed. It was, a, it was an interesting two legs. Um, again, some of our players were brilliant today. I'm thinking Carl Walker in the, in the moment where he sprinted back and trademarked Carl Walker away, which isn't normal, really, for a player. And there's a lot of positives to take. And I think the most positive thing is the journey we've been on in this competition, from being written off every year to winning it last year, having a great time in Istanbul, to, to playing really well over two legs against Real Madrid and just losing out on a penalty shootout. Yeah, it is. It's a cruel way to, to lose a game of football. But I thought, I think Pep will be incredibly proud of his team, the way they played, the way they went about it, the City way. You know, from 20 minutes on, they completely dominated the game. Just couldn't find that. A couple of couple of moments, a couple of opportunities that on another day could have gone in. That's football. You know, congratulations to Real Madrid. Yeah, congratulations indeed to Real Madrid. And what better way for us to bounce back than a trip to Wembley on Saturday for the FA Cup semi-final? Yeah, FG, I, th I think that's a reflection of this football club. You know, we're, we're, we're down tonight. The players will regroup over the next 48 hours and they're off to Wembley for an FA Cup semi-final. And of course, it'll be hurting this group of players because they're not used to losing games, especially not in that manner at the Etihad Stadium. But they will bounce back and 100%. we are on top of the Premier League as well. Yeah, 100%. And every single one of them should be proud tonight of the performance. You know, and sometimes football, you know, the football gods go against you and they did tonight. But as you've just said, we bounce back, we go again. So much to play for still this season. So much to play for and so much to be so, so proud of. As a City fans, the atmosphere at the Etihad was incredible. You've been incredible on co-coms as well. Let's head back to the studio. Thanks so much, FG. Andy Morrison as well and Alistair Mann, who are your commentary team, who expertly guided us through about 120 minutes and the penalties. Um, we don't really want to kind of get into the assessment of the game, the game too much, but Andy mentioned there... On another night, and we pointed out, we had so many shots, it just didn't seem to fall for us and we just couldn't get that second goal, David. Yeah, it's so frustrating. I'm just looking at the stats here. I think it's 30-odd shots that City had. I think uh, Madrid had five. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going three of them in the first sort of 12 minutes. Yeah. Um, but it's just converting those chances. I mean, Lunin, Lunin, to be fair to him, he did in the second penalty, which he saved against... Uh, uh, was Kovacic. it uh, Kovacic down yes. the middle? Or oh, the Bernardo. Bernardo, Bernardo yeah. Kovacic, yeah. Um, it's a trick which it worked. Uh, it, it just causes so much disaster. And in the end, his performance today was very good. Big saves when he needed to. Um, all the huffing and puffing that City have done, unfortunately, 
when the goalie plays well, what can you do? No. You hit, the, hit the target ten times in a game. I'll tell you one thing that we did get out of the penalty shootout, though. We've always heard that apparently Edison is the, <laughs> the best penalty taker <laughs> in the club and we finally got to see him take one, David. I'll tell you what, the keeper went the right way. Unbelievable pen. I think he side-footed it harder than I've ever <laughs> laced it in my career, yeah. Uh, there was never, never a question that he was going to score, was there? But no. unfortunately, I mean, he made the save as well early. It was just everything went... The wrong way. It did indeed. Well, listen, let's, let's not focus on, on tonight. It's been an incredible campaign and, as Pep said as well, a privilege to even be in this position. You know, I think 12 years ago, City fans will know that we weren't even in contention. So, to be back in a quarter-final is, is very special. And we've got uh, an English double still on the table. The reaction now on Saturday, it's going to be tough, but it's important now that we, we turn our attention to that, Nadam. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the manager will speak to the players, you know, they'll address this game. But he knows the key thing now is recovery, both, I think, mentally and physically. I think it'll be hugely disappointing for the game to go the way that it's gone. But, you know, there's a semi-final at Wembley in three days' time. Mm -hmm. You know, you're playing against a side who you've not managed to beat so far yet this season. And for them, like, it's another game for them to win, to get a chance or another step closer to winning something. I think it's very clear for them now what they're, how many games they've got left, who they're up against, all that stuff. So I think they'll be, um, they'll be motivated for it. But again, the key thing is just recovery, isn't it? It's interesting, isn't it, as well? I'm thinking of the games against Chelsea this season, almost a bit similar to, to Real Madrid. I think it was, was it 3-3, I think, at Stamford Bridge and 1-1, mm -hmm. end-to-end goals, a bit like playing Real Madrid. Wembley, we know, is our second home. Uh, how can you see the game going on Saturday? Can you see it as being as exciting an end-to-end -end as we've seen, do you think, Steph? Well, we hope it's not, because then it means that City are probably in control of the whole game. But I think the way that Chelsea play and the way then we attack them in the both the games, they were exciting. So, And I think City have got to bounce back now, and I think they're so used to this scenario where they play in every three or four days. And even more so, the, the lads will be desperate to, to get to a, another FA Cup final, and they'll respect Chelsea because they had a great result on Monday against Everton. But ultimately, we know we have good players, and I'm sure there'll be a few changes, there'll be some tired legs after tonight but we have so much quality throughout the squad and, and a fully fit squad as well which is probably an advantage for Pep. And I guess as well given the, the, the mental strength and capacity that this squad has shown over a number of years, the, the mentally bouncing back thing obviously being it's going to be a tough night tonight, do you trust that they'll be able to kind of shake that one off and turn their attention because I mean I know what I'm like, it might sit with me for a few days this one. <laughs> yeah, fortunately you're not playing with me three days <laughs> I, I just think, I mean, everything you talked about or we've talked about before the game about City as a team, that's where the strength comes in because adversity is part of being in that team. And tonight, I think the team will come through um, ready for Wembley on the weekend. Interestingly, I think it's a great time to play Chelsea as well because the, we talked about it before the game. I don't think the Chelsea team is, has that team unit. Mm -hmm. And the, where we saw Real Madrid tonight playing as a team, you don't want to play a team the next game after a defeat because they'll get together and formulate the plan. Mm. I just think there's a load of individuals there and this is an opportunity for the Man City team to beat Chelsea's individuals. We've got loads going on as well on that game on Saturday. Nat will be guiding you through. We're going to be live as well from Wembley. Sean Wright Phillips is there and Box Park. And I think we've got a little teaser here from Mr Joe Cole. How much would Chelsea have to rely on Cole Palmer if they're to progress to the FA Cup final? I think we've relied on him all season. Um, he's been su he's been such a revelation signing of the season. Um, it's not often you feel that uh, Pep might have got one wrong, but I think he might have got one wrong with uh, with, with Cole. Uh, sorry, Pep. Still think you're the best. City needs to be wary of Cole Palmer, obviously. Um, Mudrick's starting to come into some form as well. You know, he, 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 he's, he's becoming the player that we... He's improving. He's not quite there yet, but I think he, he offers us something. So you need to keep an eye on him. I don't think there's any team in the world football that could arguably say they're feeling supremely confident going in against Manchester City. But we'll be competitive. We'll have belief. We'll, we'll, we'll have a game plan. You know, but you have to be at the top of your game in all positions to beat Manchester City. There's, there's, you can't have any passengers. Everyone has to be at it. In this era, you can't compare this Chelsea side with this current Manchester City side. This current Manchester City side is elite. You know, as good as a team we've seen in the Premier League. 
and this Chelsea side is a young side competing, but that's the challenge. Manchester City have set the, 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 where the bar is now, and Chelsea, as a club, and everyone else has to, has to try and get there. I'm sure, as, as, as sure as I can be, that, that, that you know, there'll be a season and a tide in football and there'll be, there we'll be able to compete, but at the moment it's very, very difficult, but not in a one-off game. Like, so you get it right in a one-off game. My score prediction for the FA Cup semi-final is a, a 2-1 Chelsea win. Cole Palmer coming back to haunt you. Of course, of course. I knew you were going to say that, Joe. Thanks for that, mate. Uh, and remember, Match Day Live will be with you. That's this Saturday, FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea. Uh, right, Steph, that now brings me on to the WSL. <laughs> it is tight at the top. Uh, what is the mood around the group at the moment? How are you feeling? Yeah, really excited. To be honest, we've got four games left, two at home, two away. And uh, with Chelsea winning tonight, um, they're on top by two goals. So Sunday's an important game for us. We've obviously had a little bit of an international break and a, little bit, a few days off. But um, yeah, ready to hopefully have a strong end to the season. Of course, as well, with, with it being so tight, but it does feel like as well that the form that you, you've been in, particularly these last few months, some of very special is growing there. What do you attribute that to? Is it kind of... Is it the team, Gareth, that's playing his part? A bit, a bit of everything? Um, a bit of everything, to be honest. I feel as though we work really hard on the training pitch. We, we work on a lot of concepts. And I do feel as though we play the best football in the league. Um, and we've been a lot more clinical, obviously, defending, but also in the final third. And um, when them big games have come away from home, we've managed to pick up points, which is, is great. But the togetherness in the team is, like, unbelievable. It's probably one of the best teams that I've been a part of while I've been here at City. And um, I think no matter whether you're playing or you're not playing, I think everybody's trying to contribute in some sort of way and, and do what's best for the team. So... Um, a combination of everything, but hopefully that can all come together for this last couple of months. Final question as well. I have to ask you, how's Sean getting on? Of course, you know we have him on the show. I mean, we, we had him briefly <laughs> on when we came and watched the game, but he seems to be having a great time and working with Bunny as well. Yeah, it's, uh, he's a great addition to the team. I think, obviously, he brings up a lot of personality, a lot of energy, which is something that we probably needed. And obviously, he's working wonders with Bunny. She's scoring the goals, she's top scorer. And um, they have a great relationship. And it's nice to see that someone's like thriving off someone like Sean, who's been there and done it. And um, yeah, you always hear him around the training ground. But um, yeah, he's a great person to have with us. Just finally as well, no, we, of course, um, have heard about your retirement. What, will that, what does that do to the last few games, really? Like, does it kind of make it extra emotional? I mean, obviously, we'll be working harder, even harder, I guess, for the win, but it must be a bit of a funny feeling. Yeah, it's, um, I feel happy that I've made the decision, but at the same time, I know that I would love to end it on a high and I'd love to, us to go and win the league and be part of something special. And uh, for me, my focus is just trying to do what I can for the team, whether that's being on the sidelines, being on the bench and ready to come on and just to be the captain that I've always been. I don't think nothing changes in that sense, but I think that final home game especially will be quite emotional, but I think, and especially against my old team, Arsenal, but ultimately I just want us to win so much and to do something really great. But, um, yeah, trying to be professional and just focus on the next couple of weeks. Fantastic. Well, we're going to be with you every step of the way and we know we're putting it all out there for that final win for your final season. Thank you. Step. I'm thinking as well I'm going to be presenting a Match Day Live show in the first weekend of May, so make sure you come get involved with that and as well get tickets for Steph's final home game as well at the Joy Stadium. And also, Speaking of tickets, we are in the FA Youth Cup final. Uh, Manchester City versus Leeds. The details there on your screen. Friday, 10th of May, 7pm at the Etihad Stadium. Tickets on sale now from just... Three pounds and a one pound concession. So, honestly, if you've got a few pounds there, maybe you might find it down the back of the sofa. Why not come and support our youth team in the FA Cup Youth Final 10th of May? Um, well, there we have it. Unfortunately, not the result we wanted, but we are still on for an English double in the FA Cup and the Premier League. And that is in our hands, as we know, after the results on Sunday, because, well, Arsenal and Liverpool lost. So, uh, let's hope we can make good use of that. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to be with Nadem, with Steph and with David. And as always, thank you to all of you for watching. Have a lovely rest of the week. The boys, I'm sure, will be back at it again and we look forward to seeing you all on Saturday. Good night.